My name is JJ, and this is my Nature's portfolio. I'm so excited to get the chance to show you all the things I've built. After eight months of online school, I started on my first project, a 300-foot roller coaster. I started by drilling half circles into the 2x4s and attaching them to the PVC pipe to create the track. Once the first section of track was completed, I moved on to building a cart. After installing under friction, side friction, and running wheels, I was able to commence the first cart test. To bend the PVC pipes, I first secured them and then filled them with boiling water. Third beta tester. <laughs> Next up was the installation of a seat, handles, footrest, and seat belt. Shortly after the track was finished, I was contacted by a local news channel for an interview. Here is the run for the news report. My next project was a water slide off the roof. I created my own design for a support structure, and the slide had a height displacement of 25 feet and a length of 100 feet, ending in a pool I dug. <laughs> Possibly the creation that has gained me the most notoriety among my friends has been a welded steel frame gas powered go-kart. My initial attempt at a design was tape on the workshop floor. After learning how to weld through YouTube, I started filling in the pieces for this puzzle. I designed a special tie rod system to enable the steering of this go-kart. Here's the 48 inch live rear axle where the motor turns both back wheels simultaneously, preventing slippage. I also needed to install a torque converter to maximize acceleration. I used a brake rod to connect the pedal movement to the brake system and a similar contraption on the other side to line up the throttle cable. And here's a video of the first test. After I checked the brakes, I was able to start drifting. Most recently, I've been leading a team to create an agricultural drone that can spread fertilizer to crops. This project also started as a tape design, but quickly grew into an aluminum frame. The drone is equipped with six motors and six ESCs, 232 pounds of thrust, two LiPo batteries, a power distribution board, a receiver, Raspberry Pi, gyro stabilization, and lots of wiring. It is currently remote control operated. After the installation of a 5-liter tank and 7-foot spray bar, the plan is to take it to local farmers for preliminary tests. 